The structure housing living suites, university, bookstore, and cafe was once a dilapidated apartment building. In 1960, the building was purchased by the University of Pittsburgh and named after the college's chancellor from 1891 to 1901, William Holland. Renovations took place in the early 1960s, converting the old building into a dormitory and bookstore. Over the years, the building undertook numerous expansions and renovations. Currently, Holland Hall is split into north and south wings. It houses 600 students, and each floor holds a kitchenette, bathroom, and shower. In the penthouse area, there is a lounge, study hall, and laundry room. The bookstore remained the same since its opening, but added a cafe, skylights, technology wing, and new entrance. Paranormal activity was reported as early as the initial construction in the 1960s. Ghostly footsteps and lights flickering became commonplace. Doors and windows would open and close on their own. On one occasion, early on, security was called as a passerby noticed a man in black scaling the building. No one was found and no student ventured out of their windows. This dark figure appeared on different occasions in the mid-1960s. In the 1980s, as Ouija boards became a fad, a group of girls heard the same stories about phantom noises in the apparition outside the building. Unknowingly, this group of girls contacted something from the other side. It's rumored that they opened a door to the other side of the building. activity increased from simple noises to full-bodied apparitions. This was enough to get the campus police called, but they could never find anyone wandering the halls. Activity progressed as books would fly across students' rooms and hairdressers and brushes would be thrown into the bathrooms. During the next construction in the 1990s, activity picked up as construction workers would leave the site and refuse to return as they claimed they had been pushed at the top of their stairs and felt that their scaffolding moved without any reason. After construction was complete, the intense activity seemed to subside, but students still claim that they hear footsteps and see lights flickering.